News out of Calgary late Thursday night, shortly after the Flames win over Ottawa, the team fired head coach Jeff Ward. Calgary is bringing back Daryl Sutter, not just for the remainder of this season, but for two more after this one. Sutter previously coached the Flames from 2002 to 2006. As we take a look at Jeff Ward's tenure with Calgary before he was relieved of his duties on Thursday, Ward started as an assistant in 2018-19 with Calgary, then took over as head coach after the Bill Peters scandal. The Flames had success under Ward in the regular season, 24-15-3, and uh, but after taking a 2-1 lead in their first round matchup with the Stars uh, this past offseason, they or this past postseason, they lost three straight games and were eliminated. And let's bring in Craig Button. And Craig, things have not gone well with the Flames this season. Very inconsistent in their play. They sit fifth in the North with 24 points. What went wrong with the club under Ward this season? Well, I mean, a coach's job is, is to instill a system of team play that gets that team to play to its best potential, to get the abilities of the players maxed out. And when you see a team that is as inconsistent as the Calgary Flames, and in the fundamental areas where a coach has a significant impact on the team, they, they just weren't good enough. It was as simple as that, Kelsey. And, you know, I hired Daryl Sutter uh, during, for his first uh, stint with the Calgary Flames, and it was much the same way. I felt that the team was much better uh, th than it had been performing, and I thought it was clearly on the coach. And that's how I feel uh, about this situation as well. And Daryl came in, and right from day one, he instilled a system of team play. He was direct. He was clear. And, that, and the team played exceptionally well the next year, losing in Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final. So Daryl bring... is an mm -hmm. excellent coach, and he dials in, and he will get this team not only individually to play to the best of their abilities, but he will get a team that I feel is very good to play to its potential and realize it on a consistent basis. I, I think with the big name that they're bringing in, especially in that market, it will turn heads and for the right reason. He has that championship pedigree, uh, as you just med mentioned. What is your opinion, though? You've kind of elaborated on it already, but what can he bring to this team right now that can kind of turn their season around and help them make a playoff push? Well, I mean, it's, it's going to be very clear. I mean, Daryl Sutter, you know, has principles of team play. There's not going to be lazy passes into the middle of the ice. They're going to defend really well. They're going to have really good, strong positional discipline. They're going to have support. They're not going to chase out of position and create their own vulnerabilities. Daryl will instill a very strong and disciplined system of team play, but it will also be one that will allow the players to do the things that they do best. If you're an offensive player like Johnny Goudreau, Johnny Goudreau will be able to go and do that. But as a team, they will play as a pack, and they will be successful together. Because that's what Daryl Sutter does, and he will instill that in his team. In all areas of the game, Kelsey, there is no doubt about it. His record speaks volumes to that end, and it's exactly what the Calgary Flames need. Every team that he's coached or oversaw, there's always been that accountability factor and Daryl Sutter will bring that once again with the Flames. Craig, thanks for this.